It was a perfect afternoon of football at the Murray Barracks Oval as two committed rugby league sides from the province faced off in the inaugural Hardware House Agarobe Cup Grand Final. The Goilala Karukas in white up against the Koyaris in yellow in the A-grade division. The scores were locked at 6 all second half before a spectator violence erupted following an on-field incident. The spectators moving in to Thomas Kaikai from the Koyari team assaulting him in a corner. While this was captured on camera in another corner of the field, a Koyari supporter was stabbed on his chest. He died from loss of blood. The rugby league body managing the competition is the CPPL. It's an affiliate of the PNG RFL Southern Conference. Through its wisdom and spirit of the constitution, the judiciary reached an outcome. The spectators involved were supporters of Goilala Karukas. So Goilala Karukas are held responsible for any uh, incidents that, that happened. Two year ban on the club under the name Goilala Karukas. While the decision is strong, the judiciary notes that violence is not directly related to the team and has given the team an option to appeal the decision. Players can reclaim uh, their club through an appeal, that's what I'm saying. They can, this is because they, they're saying we sacrificed our players' price money for the, for the house cry, you should sympathize on us. The Goilala team has accepted the ruling and are truly disappointed in the actions of their supporters. The management of the Koyari team have also welcomed the decision. We have of the club. I'm very, I sympathize with the, the players of Goilala. They, I know they are innocent. The Goilala team has been consistent throughout the 2019 season to one point leading the competition. The death leaves the players now open to play for others in the league or competitions come 2020. Bradley Valenaki, National MTV Sports.